Hi, hello and welcome to another episode from China Teacher Brand where I share with you what it is like to live and work in China. We're going to go to that GoPro camera right now so that you can see what we are going through these days. The weather has been dreadful. Um, in Spanish, we have a saying uh, which is uh, Abril lluvias mil, which means in April, thousands of uh, showers and a lot of rain, basically. That's what the saying is. So um, we had April, uh, didn't have too much water, but now that May has rolled in, we are seeing tons and tons of rain. And that might change our plans to go camping. We basically checked at the weather, looked at the weather and had to um, discuss it with the, the little girl that wanted to go camping. She's been dying to go camping since December. We've been trying to arrange this trip and we were all set to go this weekend. Now that things are open and blah, blah, blah. But with this rain, it's just not going to be a good experience. I mean, not that you can't go camping when it's raining, but it's just not going to be a good experience for her. And we had to break it to her that we're going to have to cancel. And she was, it was funny because she was checking with her uh, iPhone Siri what the weather is going to be like over the weekend. Will it rain on Saturday? Will it rain on Saturday? And of course, every single answer was positive. So yeah, it's just sad to, to break someone's heart like that, but what can we do? So we're not expecting uh, to go camping this weekend. We're gonna have to change our plans and think about what else we could do. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was um, about Mm, what was it? I forgot. Oh, the the video uh, that I want to show you right now. Um, as you guys know, with uh, of course China, we have some interesting guests, and this week we are showcasing um, Anna um, uh, Anna Roxana. She is um, well an expert in uh, plastic molding. She's become an expert in plastic molding, and uh, we play a game during our podcast called um, This or That, where basically we give people some choices based on, well, what we know about them. And uh, we ask her this time around a question about the Me Too movement. So I want to show you that video right now. So we're going to cut to that little section of the video. <laughs> okay, my next question also comes from some of the preparation that we've done. Um, so I'm going to poke into some of the things that you've said. Me Too movement or too much Me Too? Are you familiar with the Me Too movement? No. The um, feminism. feminist movement? Yeah. You know. Too much. <laughs> too much Me Too. Too much Me Too. Could you elaborate? I think this movement is forgetting that we're losing the charm of a woman. Like, I believe, like, okay, a woman can do anything. Mm -hmm. But she shouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't do everything. Yeah. Like, I believe in that a man should pay for dinner when he takes you out. Uh -huh. I believe that a man should carry the groceries if it's heavy. I believe that a man should open the door to the car when you enter. That's the way I was raised, so right, maybe right. it's a generational thing. <laughs> right. I believe it's nice to get flowers from time to time. Mm. I believe that every woman likes a compliment. And that so can be an issue nowadays. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you, but I think, uh, I think uh, society lost the balance of, the uh, balance. of, of common sense mm. to exactly. go about these, these things. All right, guys, so um, what did you think of that answer? It is the kind of things that we like to do uh, with, of course, China. We like to, well, put things on the table that are either um, topics of discussion or topics of controversy, and uh, we enjoy that. So let me, know, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about her answer and whether you agree or don't agree. Um, the other thing is, well, very, very cheap uh, <laughs> plug of that channel. Um, go to, of course, Ch uh, of course, China channel and subscribe to it. If you are my subscriber and if you follow my, my videos, that would really, really help a lot. Because, um, well, 
we are a very young channel, although we, we think that we have quite a lot of content. We got a very nice shout out from Barrett, the Barrett channel the other day, um, when they were doing their live broadcast with uh, Blondie in China. And around the minute 50, I think, of that podcast, if you guys want to, of that uh, live stream, if you guys want to go and see it, Barrett and Blondie in China, um, Blondie was asking about, well, she would like to find some more podcasts to watch. And Barrett mentioned our podcast and mentioned that it is very professionally done, which we try to do. And uh, that was an interesting thing. So, yeah, thanks, Barrett, again for, for the plug. It's raining cats and dogs. So this is an opportunity for you guys to see what it is like to drive in the rain in China. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's the video about, um, of course, China this week. A very creative, very interesting lady doing very interesting things uh, here in China. Uh, next week, we're going to have an Italian uh, singer. He has a band. And if uh, anybody has lived in Dongguan for uh, a sh even a short time, you probably have heard about this guy um, and his band. So uh, keep an eye open for that one. What is it like to, to have a band and to, to run a band and to find uh, the different members of a band here in China? So. It's, uh, it's an interesting, an interesting watch, in my opinion. Um, I also um, want to make a very short video here to show you some of the services that NEO offers. So yesterday, it was uh, my, of course, China partner's um, birthday. So we had a little bit to drink. So take a look at one of these services that NEO offers that I don't know any other company um, that offers this service. So let's watch that video right here. Okay guys, so today at noon um, I had lunch with my partner, it's his birthday, so we had a glass of wine. So uh, I can't drive for the rest of the day. So I hired a driver <coughs> from Neo. Neo offers a service where you can actually hire a driver to drive your car. So the guy actually um, picked me up at the restaurant and brought me to class. I just had one glass of wine, which is not a big deal, but I don't want to get in trouble with the police. So <clears throat> he drove me Your here. Thing dropped. Huh? Your thing dropped. What thing? I don't know. I something dropped. No, 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 no. nothing dropped. <clears throat> Hi, mommy. And uh, well, basically, um, when I, I finished work, uh, because my wife also was drinking, she can't drive either, so we called a driver to come and pick me up at work. So this is why I'm sitting at the back of the car right now, and that's a driver. It's pretty cool. They put the uh, seat covers, they have the drive with gloves, and they're identified. So this is the second time that we use the service today and it's the second time that we use it since we bought the car. All right, a few facts here and there. Um, Neo gives us 15 times to use the service. Um, so today we've used it twice already. Um, what is the maximum distance that we can drive one time? You can ask him. Oh. No, he doesn't know. Okay, so this guy's the it's a partnership that they have with Neo. So his company is DD Driver, but they give this service to Neo. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's more than seventy kilometers a day. Uh, That's I maximum. I remember it was one hundred kilometer. Okay, I'm being corrected. Because uh, <laughs> I'm right now in the service, so I can't see it. I see. So apparently his maximum distance is 100 kilometers. So for example, if I were in Shenzhen, I could drive from Shenzhen to Dongguan uh, in one uh, service, basically. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, if you are in another city and have a beer or something and then have to go back home, they could actually drive you all the way back to your place. Um, but okay, we don't abuse the system, we don't abuse the service and that's what keeps it um, going, right? Yeah. An interesting thing an interesting thing about the service is that for example 
because you have a record of when you hired the service so um, basically the system has a timing so for example if for any reason he breaks um, traffic law for example a red light or a speeding ticket or anything like that um, you have a record that you engage their service at that particular time and because most of those um, traffic infractions here are just photo records so the time the day the place and all those things are left uh, the time the place um, and uh, so um, all those records are there so they would the company would be liable for paying the ticket in that particular event so another thing to know from your salary an interesting thing that was shared by the the first driver that we had today is that they have like a group where they share um, for example where there are cameras or where there are places where um, you really have to follow the rules and places where you don't have to follow the rules so it's kind of like they have a WeChat group where they do their own uh, exchange of information so that they keep each other safe because otherwise it will be discounted from their both from their paycheck and of course from their driver's license so <laughs> that was interesting to to learn from this guy um, so right now we're talking about the fact that I know the city quite well and I know this is small city so I asked him to deviate from his uh, Baidu maps route uh, and uh, take this little route that I know uh, because there's fewer traffic lights and uh, well less traffic so, so we're commenting that it's funny that sometimes I do suggest roads and, and routes that are not the best so human human input is always welcome even when you're driving with these guys and they always ask like okay but is it longer is it does it take a longer time I'm like no it's shorter and if your cars or believe me yeah. it'll be good yes turn left okay. That's it all. <laughs> but my wife needs to follow by two I, I believe me she gets lost in an elevator not me <laughs> you can hit the home button this one? yeah yeah, to stop it. Um, so these guys were telling us that they actually enjoy driving electric cars because they're a lot more comfortable. Um, and um, well, yeah, this is. I know that I haven't made a new video in, in a few days, and that I just published my video in what is called the Neo Global Twitter account. So super cool, man! Super cool. I uh, supposed to get a lot of views on that video. That's great. Um, they didn't ask me or anything. I mean, I'd given them permission to use the, the video, but I didn't know that they were going to do that. It just somebody just uh, tweeted today, like, hey, they're using your video uh, to promote it. You can go straight to go to the supermarket, right? So, it's pretty cool. So, this is another Neo video. <laughs> uh, coincidentally, uh, made right after Neo Global decided to publish my video on their Twitter account. Did you know that? Best. Did you know that Neo Global um, tweeted my video today? No. Yeah, they did. So Which this, video? the long one. Uh. I'm just talking to my wife because she doesn't have Twitter and she doesn't know what goes on on Twitter. But I was informed today about that and that was pretty cool. Um, so this service, service from Neo is, is awesome. You don't get this with uh, too many other car dealers. Um, and again, um, it's all included in the package with insurance and um, other well, safety features. So we're about to get to the destination, so I'm going to show you how they um, basically pack their electric bikes, uh, electric motorcycles at the back of your car, and that's it. So let's see. Let me switch the camera and I'll show you around, okay? No worries. So you stay in the car, right? So we are getting to our destination so he's dropping us here because the entrance to my garden is right there so it's not going to be too much of a problem so he gets off and he removes the cover Oh, thank you, thank you. He gets to the back. 
gets to the back of the car. They even have a cover for the back of the car. Need a helmet, though. And uh, okay, on that note, I would like to finish this video by talking about something that I found out just a couple of days ago. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, Neo Global, uh, the Neo Global account from Twitter actually tweeted a link to my video and uh, it's been quite controversial a lot of people are keep telling me oh why did you call it a tesla killer why do you have to just go with the, the tesla killer uh, title it's just clickbait and i said like well yeah i mean if you go for a search engine optimization you will find a tesla killer it gives you some of the best uh, results when people are searching for content so Reason number one, yeah, clickbait. But reason number two is that if you watch the video carefully, you will know that actually I chose this car, the Neo ES6, over the Tesla Model 3 for very logical and pressing reasons. So my point is, if Western buyers, if people who uh, are getting... Um, access to NEO in other countries get to watch my video, they will probably understand that it is the better option. It is the better car, at least in China. Uh, I don't know what the circumstances would be in other countries, but at least in China, this is the better option. This is the better car. So if everybody thinks like me, <laughs> logically, you know, with your wallet, so to speak, then that will have a very uh, significant effect on sales of Tesla's of Model 3's therefore it would affect Tesla so it might not kill it but it would definitely affect Tesla and their bottom line so it's, it's clickbait on one side but at the same time I do believe that this car could affect the, the, the sales performance of Tesla cars Particularly in China, we've seen something really, really spectacular this quarter. They went from 10,000 sales last quarter to 3,000, close to 4,000 sales. Uh, something like 300 units uh, more than Neo ES6. So there you go. It's, it's Neo ES6 um, was selling about 3,000 units per quarter um, in 2019. So this first quarter, they were unaffected at all by, by the whole pandemic. Well, Tesla saw a huge drop from 10,000 units down to uh, 3,800 or 900, something like that. So it's an interesting fact to see about what consumers are doing here in China when it comes to purchasing EVs. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing to it. And when you do that, don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified whenever there is a new video out. And uh, well, again, I want to thank everybody who is contributing to my channel. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. The QR code for those of you who are in China and would like to contribute is down here on the screen. And uh, well, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, then feel free to do so as well. All right, guys, until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.